Tim Wakefield joined the Red Sox in 1995, a former first baseman with the Pirates who became a master of the knuckleball and became one of the best to ever throw the pitch. The first season in Boston was a magical ride. He won 16 games and finished third in the Cy Young Award voting, leading the Red Sox back into the postseason and instantly becoming a fan favorite. He would remain one forever. Wakefield never put himself before the team. He excelled in whatever role he was asked to fill. He started games, he closed out games, he did whatever the team needed, and he ultimately led the Red Sox to a long sought after championship, playing an integral role in the 2014 that ended an 86 year drought. This is yours, baby. Three years later, the Sox were once again playing deep into October. But Wakefield's role had changed, and he was ultimately kept off the World Series roster. His selfless attitude once again won over the admiration of his teammates and got him special attention in the championship celebration that followed. This win is for this man right here. Because he was not on the roster, and he showed so much heart by saying, I, I, I can't be on the roster, and it was good for the team. This is what kind of person is standing right here. I love this guy. I'm proud of this guy. It's the hardest, <laughs> it's the hardest thing to do to take yourself out of the game for someone else. But he did it, and I'm proud of him. Thanks, man. In 2010, Wakefield won the Roberto Clemente Award given to him for his extraordinary character, community involvement, and philanthropy. He later said it was the biggest honor of his career. One, two, is a swing and a miss. Wakefield would pitch one more season, returning to the diamond as the oldest player in the game in 2011. He won his 200th career game in his final start that year, just the 89th modern day major leaguer to reach that plateau. Wakefield retired after the 2011 season and holds the Red Sox records for starts and innings pitched. He ranks second in strikeouts and pitching appearances and third in wins, trailing only Cy Young and Roger Clemens. I have to thank the Red Sox organization for giving me the best 17 years of my life. In 2012, he joined the Nesson broadcast team and immediately won over fans with his unbridled passion for the game and love of the team. Wakefield was honorary chairman of the Red Sox Foundation and had been team captain of the Jimmy Fund. He spent countless hours helping numerous charities. No one loved the Red Sox more or did more to use the power of sports to help people in need. He is survived by his wife, Stacy and their children, Trevor and Brianna. Tim Wakefield was 57 years old.